Sicily is one of the best places in Italy to visit, especially if you're looking for sunshine early or late in summer. The island is one of the lowest parts of Italy, so it's considerably warmer than the rest of Italy all year round. And then there's the food and the wine. It's so good and definitely one of the best holidays to go on if you're into all things delicious. Unlike other island vacations you can have in Europe, Sicily is also incredibly rich in sights to see and things to do. You can visit Sicily if all you want to do is relax, but if you're keen to explore and have a bit more of an active vacation, it's also pretty amazing for it. So you're probably not on here looking for reasons to visit Sicily. You're probably trying to decide what to do when you visit Sicily, so let's just jump into that. There's actually a lot of choice in Sicily, so trying to do it all in one trip is definitely not something I'd recommend. I'd say pick a part of it and get to explore it slowly and leave yourself even more reasons to return to Sicily. With that said, I'm going to focus on easily one of the highlights of Sicily, the Val de Noto. Val de Noto is a part of Sicily that is home to eight UNESCO World Heritage cities and towns, all of which are known for their incredible Sicilian Baroque architecture. So in no particular order, here are five incredible places you need to visit in Sicily. Catania. Chances are you'll start your trip in Catania. You could also start it in Palermo but if you're looking to explore the Val de Noto then Catania is where you really want to start. Now heads up, when you first arrive in Catania, especially in the drive from the airport to the city, it's possible to feel a little overwhelmed by how rough and ready it looks but Catania's charm truly comes alive when you spend some time in the city itself. It's busy, unfiltered and definitely an incredible introduction to Sicilian life. You're almost guaranteed to fall in love with Catania and its unfiltered energy within hours of spending time exploring the city. Next up, Noto. Okay, I'll try to keep this one shorter. Noto is a lot smaller than Catania and definitely an easy one to fall in love with straight away. It's almost like a golden city, especially come sunset. And it's all something to do with the rocks used to build the city, which become even more golden over time. When you're here, be sure to make some time to visit the many beautiful palazzos and churches, especially the main cathedral. Number three, Ragusa. All the cities in Val de Noto are famous for their Baroque architecture, but Ragusa is perhaps the most famous of all for this. Like the other towns and cities in Val de Noto, Ragusa was destroyed in an earthquake in 1693 which led to the city being rebuilt from scratch in Baroque style. When it was rebuilt, some people chose to stay in the old part of town and rebuild on the existing site, now called Ragusa Ibla, while others decided to go higher up and build on a new site called Ragusa Superiore. These two parts of Ragusa remained separate until 1926 when they became merged. Now you might be wondering which of the two you should visit while you're here. Short answer, visit both. Ragusa Ibla is arguably the more popular of the two, but both are home to incredible spots you have to see when you're in Ragusa. Next, Shikli. Shikli is arguably one of the quietest in the Val de Norte. It's actually a town, not a city, but it packs a punch for its relatively small size. It's absolutely beautiful and such a charming spot to visit. Unlike Ragusa, which is built on a hill, most of the spots you'll want to visit here are actually relatively flat, so it's definitely one of the easiest spots in the Val de Noto to explore on foot. And the number five, Modica. Modica is absolutely impressive and you get a sense of this even from a distance. It's stuck on a mountain, which makes it look absolutely incredible, but also makes it pretty hard to walk to. The best way to explore Modica is to get a ride to the top and then walk down because the reverse of this journey, especially on a hot summer's day, will leave you so flustered. And there you have it. Now, if you have extra time, there are actually three other UNESCO World Heritage Sites to visit in Val de Noto. These are Calta Giron, Militello Val di Catania, and Palazzolo. But remember, the best way to explore Sicily is to take your time visiting, so there's nothing wrong with saving some of these other gems for your next trip to this incredible island.